So here we're going to be determining a present value, our principal. What is our initial amount right here? And we're still going to use the future value uh, formula. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and I just like to write it down. My future value, it's going to be equal to my present value or my principal. That's what we're looking for. Times 1 plus the rate times the time. And then what I like to do is as I read through this, the, uh, this problem here, I like to pick out the variables and then list them. That way all I have to do is then fill them into this formula and solve from there. So this says, suppose you want to save enough money for a down payment on a car. Determine the amount of money you must deposit, that must what you have to start off with, in an account earning simple annual interest paying 4.375%. So I've got a, uh, an interest rate here of 0.0435, that's our 4.375%, so that you have $5,000. That's our future amount. That's in the future. I want to start out with a present value. I want to find out how long it's going to take to get $5,000. or so our future value is $5,000. And I'm going to put it in an account for three years. So then my time... That's our three years. So now using our future value formula, I have $5,000. That's going to be equal to the present value, that's what we're looking for, times 1 plus the rate, that's 0.04375, times the number time in years, the number of years, that's three. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find this first on our calculator, 0 0.04375 times three. So this is 5,000, that's our future value. One plus 0.13125. This is $5,000. That's equal to P. 1 plus 0.13125 is 1.13125. Now I can use some simple algebra. I'll divide both sides by 1.13125. And I'll divide this side by the same. These will cancel. That's the whole idea. So then I'll take the 5,000 and divide that by 1.13125. Divide that by 1.13125. So our principal is equal to, and we're going to round this to the nearest penny, that's $4,419, and to the nearest penny, 89 cents. So you must have $4,419.89 to deposit into an account that pays 4.375% annual interest for three years for it, for it to get to be $5,000.